hello oh, welcome back to my channel this is future here with another video and in this video i'm gonna be doing a fun anything but simple set of nails <laughs> i call these kitchen sink nails now why do i call them kitchen sink nails because they have everything but the kitchen sink in them they're going to be using these colors this purple this blue and a little gl glitter acrylic i'm also going to be using these silver rose nail rivets i'm going to be doing ombres i'm going to be doing a little 3d nail art and i'm going to be putting some gems on it like really is there anything more these are kitchen sink nails <laughs> all of these acrylics that i'm going to be using are from model ones as you know i really do like model ones products especially their acrylics because they really do last a long time some of the acrylics need a little bit of a good mixing whenever you first get them but once they're mixed they really don't marble and even though the jars seem really small i don't think i've ever gone through an entire jar of model ones acrylics i get the kits off of amazon and they have between 12 and 24 acrylics in each kit the acrylics themselves are around 20 dollars each so yeah pretty good prices pretty good products and they last <laughs> i went in with the nail bed color on my first finger my pointer finger as well as my pinky finger i'm gonna go back to those nails in a minute and i'm gonna put this purple color down at the free edge i'm gonna ombre those up the nail i did a full nail of the purple color on my middle finger and then on my ring finger i'm going to be doing the glitter acrylic the glitter is purple as a base but then the glitter itself has like all colors in it so it was really dimensional and i really enjoyed that i used my favorite nail tips from amazon on my nails and as you know most of the products that i use are from amazon i do that because there's not really a nail supply store all that close to me so i get my products off of amazon it's really fast and it's really convenient for me and for this nail set i'm actually going to be doing both hands in pretty much the same design i rarely do that i like to have my hands different but for this particular set i went with pretty much the same design on each hand the hands are a little bit different because i wanted to do different flowers on my dominant hand than i did on my non-dominant hand and you'll see a little bit of that towards the end right here i just went in with the nail rivets and while the acrylic is still a little bit wet i'm pressing those rivets into the nail they were moving around a little bit more than i would have liked so i went in with a little clear acrylic to tack those down and then <laughs> i went in and encapsulated the entire nail because whenever it comes time to file i do not want to file off my ombres and that clear acrylic will go ahead and help those nail rivets stay down as i said the nail rivets are from amazon it's a lot easier to find gold nail rivets than it is to find silver nail rivets so i had to jump on this opportunity also i love roses <laughs> i love roses and i love the color purple so i had to jump on these whenever i found them they're really really flat but on Amazon, they do have different tools you can use to bend nail rivets. I've done, well, I've shown how to do that in other videos, but you can bend them so that they are rounded into like the shape of nails. And that can be really helpful as well. But because these are so flat, these nails are going to be as thin as they can be. They just fit nicely on the nails.
that glitter acrylic it is so pretty it has the same kind of purple color base as i said before and the glitter in it is silver but it's also like all colors there was just like a lot going on there so whenever i finish up these nails i'm gonna be putting some gel polish on top of them some white gel polish and i think it's really gonna bring out the glitter below it just really pretty i'm watching this video back and i'm like gosh i miss these nails i had these nails on about a week ago and um i missed them already because these were pretty good <laughs> And I wanted to do these nails for people like myself who enjoy kitchen sink nails. I like a little bit of everything in my nail sets. Sometimes they take me a little bit longer to do, but I don't mind because I want a little bit of everything in them. I want the glitter, I want the gel polish, I want the 3D art, I want some gems. I love kitchen sink nails. Like, are you with me? Do you like kitchen sink nails too? Is it just me? I don't think it's just me. <laughs> Now that these nails have been file shaped and buffed i'm gonna go in with um this white gel polish on all of my nails i went in with a matte top coat so that the nails would be a little bit smoother whenever i went in with this gel polish but i'm just gonna do this little kind of ribbon kind of design on my pointer finger as well as on my pinky finger on my ring finger across the glitter i'm gonna be doing some stripes but that's really it for the gel polish just a little bit of an accent all right now for the flowers these flowers i don't know what kind of flowers they are but they're pretty popular. I see people doing them a lot, but I don't know like what kind of flowers are supposed to be like mimicking, you know? Um, I don't do these type of flowers often, so I was really practicing on this set. I think they turned out really, really well. If you have any tips for me, I would love to know them. Do you like these type of flowers? I really like roses. I think roses are my favorite, but I wanted to switch it up. I want to try something new. And on my dominant hand, I am going to do roses on that hand because those are easier for me to do. <laughs> the 3D brush that I'm using right now is from Panna and I did get it off of Amazon as well. This is a really great brush. It was recommended by um, Nails by V here on YouTube. She recommended this years ago and I've had this brush for years. It works beautifully.
I definitely wanted to share what it's like for me working with my um, non-dominant hand on my dominant hand. So I'm gonna show myself doing the roses that I'm gonna be doing on this hand. I always pick up a bead of acrylic with my dominant hand and then I move the brush into my non-dominant hand to work it out. So there's a lot of back and forth and I think a lot that I cut out here because um, I'm moving the brush from hand to hand. But this is how I do stuff and things with my dominant hand. gemstones to these nails because my device died while I was recording and I did not realize it <laughs> so at the end I'm going to show you the final look of these nails I think they were really really cute they came out very nicely exactly what I was wanting but I would love to know what other people consider wearing these nails do you yourself like a kitchen sink nails or do you like something a little bit more simple what would you like to see from me next I already have some videos already playing but I would love to know um, what others would like to see from me next again thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day you can follow me on instagram at watch underscore the underscore progression please like comment and subscribe and have a great rest of your day Bye bye